my main hero when I was growing up was John Wayne because I loved the way he was uh, in his westerns and his movies itself uh, expired me. Uh, I just loved the guy. I wish I could have met him before he passed away. Uh, my other hero was Audie Murphy from World War II. Uh, his action to receive the Medal of Honor and that really inspired me to go into the military. On November 5, 1966, Private First Class John Baker Jr., an assistant machine gunner, found himself in Thay Ninh Province in Vietnam. Company A of the 27th Infantry had been assigned to rescue a sister company trapped by an ever-growing number of Viet Cong. By the time Baker and his group arrived, the enemy numbered nearly 3,000. One of our uh, platoons was out on a night ambush patrol, which is, recovers about uh, 13 to 14 men. Usually we go, we go out on helicopters early in the morning and they uh, set us down about oh, maybe 10, 15 miles out. And then we uh, scoured the woods and, and jungle types to raid out the Viet Cong. Our mission was to get one of our elements out of the woods. They were trapped. Uh, we had an estimate about 300 hardcore VC. They had them trapped. And our mission was to go in there the next morning and try to get them out of there. So we started out with 257 of us going in the jungle that morning. And uh, the jungle itself was so thick, it looked like going in the wooded area at night. We had one, one man that uh, took his gear off and crawled up in front and seen what was going on in the wooded area, and uh, he got uh, pretty well shot up. And we ran up against an element of a 3,000 hardcore VC. So I went up there and took my stuff off and crawled up about 20 yards in front of him. And there was a lot of uh, cement bunkers. And uh, so I went back and told my CO, and then all hell broke out. They started firing right from the left to right behind us. Uh, we were trapped ourselves, and the only way we could get out was fight our way out. Our men would get pulled right and left. So my company commander, is uh, Robert F. Foley, took the uh, right side and I took the left, and I went in there and knocked out a couple of bunkers, and then I had one man get uh, wounded, and I carried him back to the rear and replenished my ammo and went back in and killed a few more snipers. When you see your buddies get killed, sometimes you lose your mind and you're trained to do what you have to do to survive. You just have that certain moment and that certain bust of energy to get in there and, and take care of the situation and that's what we did. Baker was wounded by shrapnel from a grenade explosion but got up and continued to fight, pulling injured soldiers off the battlefield and destroying two more bunkers. At the end of the battle, Baker had killed 10 Viet Cong, destroyed six bunkers, and saved the lives of eight of his fellow soldiers. We finally broke through the lines and made a pathway so we can get our wounded out of there. By the time we were ready to take, take us out of there by choppers, 101st Airborne came in, Big Red One came in. Uh, we had the whole 25th Infantry Division coming in to help us out. It seemed like forever, but it was only an hour and a half. After I left Vietnam, I was a drill sergeant in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. And uh, one day my, my, comp my company commander came out in the field and told me, that the President of the United States was on the phone and wanted to talk to me. And when I got back to the orderly room, uh, it was President Johnson, and he said I'd be coming to the White House for a ceremony to receive the Medal of Honor. Captain Foley, he received it the same time I did for the same action. And he's six foot seven, I'm five two. And President Johnson, when he put the medal around us, called us Mutton Jeff. So it was a, a real real impressive ceremony. And you just have that moment in life, uh, no matter who you are, if you're a fireman or, or uh, any type of worker, and you see somebody get hurt, you need to get in there and get them out. 
there's all types of heroes. So you have the heroes in sports. And my heroes are the guys that received the medal. They each have their own fantastic story, and uh, they're just plain humans, just like I am. It just makes you makes you proud to be American.